let's just uh, appreciate these cyclists. And then let's appreciate my new bag. I'm so stoked about this new bag. I love it. It's got the four wheels so I can roll it, you know? The only thing I don't love about it is that it's called iFly and I'm trying to minimize air travel, but other than that, I love it. And it's got a 20 year warranty, 20 years. It's Plenty of space for everyone. Plenty of space for everyone. Cars, people walking, biking, people sitting, and then huge boats. Ferries, maybe, that's a ferry. Just had a very conscious moment of gratitude that I wanted to share. I wasn't even thinking about being grateful. And I just felt it. Here I am on the road with a show. It's good to have a gig. Waiting for my friends to arrive. We're gonna play a show together tonight. I have food. I have nature. I have time. In my darker moments, I had various teachers tell me, you have to be grateful. You have to find things to be grateful for. And it's really hard to hear that when you're not feeling good. And it can really be the smallest thing. It can be like, I'm grateful for my hands. I'm grateful for my legs. I'm grateful for my Apple Watch, or whatever it is. But the crazy thing is, is that forcing yourself to consciously have gratitude actually kindles in your brain eventually these spontaneous moments of gratefulness that arise like just happened now i wasn't thinking to be grateful i was just sitting here eating this apfelstrusel which i'm sure i pronounced wrong and it just arose in me this feeling so Man, there's some radical fairies on the Rhine, man. What is this one? Look at, this is great. Loving it. And then gratitude immediately followed by boredom because the other band isn't here yet and probably won't be for another hour and a half and I'm just sitting here and I just ate so I can't eat more. And maybe I'll try to find the bike share. That's what I'll do. I'll try to find the bike share. This just got very charming. Very charming. So I was gonna do the bike share, but I don't wanna pay for the data roaming. And there's no Wi-Fi by where the bike share is. I just decided to go for a walk instead. And you know, the pace of walking is different than biking. Sometimes you just want to walk around and see what you see. Interesting possible business dealings here. Possible management. It's actually completely depressing that American streets we just won't do this. We totally could do it and we just won't. Because we can't see it or something. It's so rad. It's so quiet and joyous and rad.
just deal with the noise now that I'm over here. It also smells bad. Such a bummer. All right, hit it. Dear people, in our culture club, yeah, kind of beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is welcome. We laugh, we dance, we flirt, and we celebrate. But no means no. No means no. We don't tolerate racism, sexism, behavior against women, homophobic behavior, or any other... Verhalten? <laughs> 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 um, any, any other behavior which is... Um, <laughs> yeah, like... Wrong. Rücksichtslos. Alright. In our place, we respect borders and we respect boundaries. boundaries. No, yeah, boundaries. Boundaries, not borders. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Boundaries and um, we respect people with their needs. Ah. And despite that, if you feel like someone is. Uh, You're doing great, Daniel. And, yeah. <laughs> you are. I, can't, I mean, I, I don't understand a word of this thing. <laughs> okay. Mm, despite? Despite that, if someone... Oh, verbal. ...urges you, ah. maybe, verbally or... Um, ah, like physically? Physically, yeah. yeah. Please uh, tell us immediately, either our security or the personal from the bar. Cool. Uh, with that attitude, um, you help us to help to have a good uh, calm atmosphere, and it will be kind of beautiful. <laughs> kind of beautiful. <laughs> this is crazy. So, shun shun. Oh, how do you say it? Shun shun. Shun shun means kind of beautiful, mm -hmm. but not really. <laughs> it sort of means that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure. Three years, then <laughs> 7,000 miles. Okay. <clears throat> Twilight light set in your mind. Let's pretend that we can still pretend. Let's pretend that we are young again. I am only looking for a friend. Let's pretend that we are young again A drink for all the secrets that you see A drink for all the memories you keep A drink for all the dreams you'll never dream a drink for all the planets in between Believe me when I say I love you dear Believe me when I tell you not to fear I uh, just had a, I think a pretty good set, opening set for Accidental Bird at the gig and uh, they're playing now the opening set, now you just you just kind of hang out and wait. But I wanted to show you the hospitality of these German venues. So this is just the snack. This was here when we got here. And these, some, some chocolates and stuff. And then they, halfway through, they bring you this curry. So this is your meal. 
the venue is right around the corner. So then there's, there's this here for the band to sleep. And then there's this room and there's like a hang zone, free Wi-Fi, woo! Und bathroom, shower, toilet. So they really spoil you over here. I mean, it's, they really spoil you. So if you're gluten-free, you're in pretty deep shit over here. Did you know that before? Isn't that weird? Yeah, I heard about it before. It's the first time I'm seeing it though. And th th that guy here is the guitar player from Aerosmith. He's in there too. And what's going on? So, what happened was our show in Munich got cancelled because yeah. we sold too many tickets and the venue just couldn't handle the demand. <laughs> uh, and so the show just got scrapped. Yeah, they're like, we it, can't. It made no sense yeah. for us to go there. So, uh, we have an off day and we were trying to get a show going and somebody at the show uh, at the at our show here in Mainz yesterday told us there's this chain of hotels who regularly put up shows and there's one of those hotels here in Mainz and they said well great idea but we can't have you here tonight well they heard about the demand at the and, other yeah, show and they, also they were worried that too many people would show up as yeah. soon as they announced it but the people in Ulm from the same hotel chain they just uh, told us that we we're very welcome to play tonight and we're going there, we got three hotel rooms, I think a single room for each one of us. Oh, That's yeah, dude! And that one bell tower uh, in Ulm is higher than the Kölner Dom, which makes wow. it the biggest church in Germany. And uh, I'll show you if you're interested. I think my question is, um, are we going to get the Döner here or at in Ulm? Why not have two? <laughs> This right here is a large portion of being on tour, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We're in Heidelberg. <laughs> and there are no parking spaces. Not a parking space, Anywhere. Cause I can, None. but I can do it. I gotta pee, too. It's is there be... somebody behind me? I will do it. Okay, we have a plan. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Ah. Bona Park Ausweis B. Nice. No good. No good. Uh, Maybe it's a drive through situation? <laughs> this is like the municipal spot. Yeah, and it's the allowed height is exactly one centimeter higher than the bus. <laughs> Rolling the dice. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's fine, we have four people in here and tons of equipment. Yeah, this is good. We're not Game. higher than, than it. I just can't drive like crazy, but it'll it'll be okay. That's maybe not a bad idea anyway. Listen to some fresh Dave. <laughs> 2023? Yeah, that's just out. Fresh Dave Matthews. Yeah, it's the parking. Okay, could you jump oh, it's in? It's right by the Bahnhof. How Bahnhof? You loaded the PA in. Extra, brought your own PA. Just in case we picked up a gig. I got the Ulm in the background. And we did. Oh, there's a balloon. Where? Yeah, it has a big balloon. Oh, yeah. Two, actually. Ah, look at this rooftop gig. 
We secured this gig how many hours ago? Five. <laughs> You can't even get it into the iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't fit my phone. <laughs> so this wow. is a big penis there. It's a big dome. Yeah. Dang. This was a classy hotel room. Look at this situation. I mean, what? Private bathroom compartment? What are you talking about? This thing was major. Rain shower, rain shower. It's got that thing, and then you go, rain shower. Classy U2 level accommodations in Ulm. It's the information. Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a classy build. Classy. I like how you're refining this whole process, Honig. Oh, wait, it's, yeah, I'm refining it, but also some, uh, to protect the pooper. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm cognizant that the suitcase is really dominant there in the visual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a traffic jam. We need an alternative route. Yeah, but it doesn't give me one, so... Yeah, well, what do you think, Stefan? There isn't one, is not, it's never true. Of course there's one. There's many ways yeah, to know, get Yeah, I know, but it does everywhere. show you the, the shortest, the quickest way to go. We're cruising through Germany, and it's the perfect opportunity to teach you something about driving stick. I really mean this, don't... Don't like, don't make fun of my dimness here. No, but how does this apply to the cycling, the gears in the cycling? It doesn't really. Yeah. But okay, I just it, want to, in a way it does. It's in a way it does. Sorry. In a way it does. Let's have because a okay. uh, when you're in first gear, it's easy to start. But at some point, when you're in first gear and you want to reach a certain speed, you're going like this. <sighs> right. Sorry. So you have to shift up. Yeah, yeah but. For this video, it's urgent. Go what? This, take this on the video. What? But the, the sign. I just want to mention it was pronounced Eichelberg. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, what? What? I'm sorry. He's twelve. <laughs> <laughs> what is? What did I miss? I missed them. It, uh, it does not translate okay. into English. But <laughs> Try uh, it. The tip. <laughs> The tip of the man's uh, penis ah. is called an uh, is Eichel. Uh, it's like that's the helmet. A German the helmet. Like the helmet. Oh, the helmet. The <laughs> penis is in German called Eichel, and we're driving past a town that is called Eichel Mountain, <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted you to. Know. Honestly. I don't think about how things work like that at all. Ever? Not really. It doesn't interest me. I don't, I just, which is maybe a character flaw, <laughs> but like I don't, it just doesn't, oh, I, I take it for thing, granted. I have you know? the same thing in different things, but I've been driving stick since the first 30 years now. Yeah. So that's not really true. Um, but, but it's like the, something breaks, like the toilet breaks or something, and I don't, I've never given a single thought to how whatever's happening with the toilet is happening. I don't, I, I just don't care or know. But when civilization falls apart, I'm not, I don't know how helpful I'm gonna be. Not at all. But you always need to, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds you need like to, you mean. 
<laughs> you'll be ditched. You need the, well, no, but you need the, don't you need the... Uh, yeah, the entertainer. Yeah, you yeah, need yeah, the, yeah. the fool, the wise fool. Exactly. To I go think, to the... I think you, you actually suit that, that niche pretty well. I mean, seriously, honestly, like, you just explained all that to me, and I generally understand the concept. Yeah. But I also have already forgotten it. <laughs> Cool, but that's why we recorded it. So yeah, yeah. Whenever you're uh, interested in it again, you can rewatch it. This is the kind of cycle track I'm talking about right here. I want these nationwide. Nationwide next to every major road. How much can it cost to make these thin little nothing, man? Nationwide. <laughs> Don't know what we're doing here, but I'm guessing it's about time to sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Here we go. Sound check. Over the noise, the flapping of wings, the drones in the air, and just because it meant something. So the, the, the moment you, you sort of fuse those two traditions mm. in your own playing, when is that happening? Is that early chili peppers or is that yeah, pre something? Just before the chili peppers. Yeah. yeah. Just park a car right in front of Yeah, no one's even door. gonna know. No one's even gonna know. And then we're gonna just put the thing things all into the hallway. 